someone want to explain this workout. Because a lot of people ask, how do I start? A good workout for beginners is full body three times a week. All right, with the boy today. Sir. We're gonna hit a little back and by. Let's do one set here, one set. Horizontal pull, little vertical pull. If you're wondering how low you should put the seat, very simple. You want the handle of the machine to be at your shoulder. So if I'm pushing, it's way low, it's gonna pull. So it's too high. If I go all the way down and it's above my shoulder, I'm gonna be kind of pushing at the wrong angle again, pinching on my shoulder. Let's get this thing up. Sit, handles right at the shoulder, boom, thumb out, thumb length. Perfect. You smell that? You smell what the rock's cooking? <laughs> <laughs> so number two exercise on our journey is gonna be a push. I think it's recorded, no? Yeah. There's a little red dot on? It is. Let me I, see it. I didn't, oh. I didn't even. Every time. Coach. Se second exercise on our presses now. We're gonna superset this one. Two exercises, no rest, let's try the next one. Max now. So see, someone want to explain this workout. Because a lot of people ask, how do I start? A good workout for beginners is full body three times a week. You're gonna have energy for that next workout rather than just crushing your chest and try, crushing your back and by. That's gonna leave you painful the next day. Every day you're gonna feel fresh, and every day you're gonna to wanna to go to the gym. I had a bad game. Coach took me out early and he was fucking cussing me out. He was like, like, sit your ass on that bench and uh, wear a sweater. You're gonna be there for a long time. <laughs> he said that. Hamstring, so we already did a pull. Or we did a, yeah, we did start with a pull. Then we went to a push. Now we're gonna do hamstrings. How do you adjust the seat? Bring it up, make sure that you're nice and tight. You don't wanna be too far when you're arcing your back. There you go. Knock over too heavy. Bring my feet all up, lock it in, toes up, just like our spirits. Toes up, just like our spirits. Squeeze in those good old hammies. Now in my opinion, this machine 
is better than this leg curl machine. So I feel like it's a more of a squeeze here. I'm using my contraction more here. Whereas here, you just kind of let it go. And you're swinging your legs. Sometimes you're pulling with your arms too much. Here, it isolates my glutes. So I'm only using my hamstrings. Because I'm sitting on my glutes. I feel the pump a lot more in the in the strings, you know, in the strings. So try this seated seated hamstring curl next time you're at the gym. What's creatine? Good question. Creatine. Is it okay to use supplements like protein powder and creatine? I feel like I've already talked about protein powder in my last video, so you guys can go back and look at that. But creatine, I just heard one of the kids say is also at school. Is it good to use? He said he stopped using during the season because it was slowing him down, he felt like. Creatine, which is creatine phosphate, it just adds more energy into your system. You can find it in steak. Nothing to worry about, mom and dad. All right, creatine is fine. However, I recommend maxing it at five grams a day on off season, and then in season, taking it maybe once a week. That way, in the off season, you're still able to build strength, still able to build that size, but in the season, you're able to, you know, maybe maintain it, still having it once a week, but not overdoing it, not gaining that water weight, not gaining that mass in season, so you're able to stay quick and agile. So, totally fine, use five grams a day maximum on the off season. Just remember, in season, you might want to taper it back to once a week. Now we're going leg extensions again. Make sure this seat is up, man. The seats are always so bad. Speak the truth, coach. Make sure all these things are, are good for your size. These things are always off. You want to make sure that they're custom to you. Oh, yeah, baby. You know what I'm saying? Squeeze at the top. Again, lately, I've just been doing full body and trying to get to failure each set. I do one set each muscle. I work out, unless I'm doing a super set, I'll go two. Then I'll hit it three times a week. Last exercise, rollouts. These ones are really good for the core. As you go out, a lot of people I see, they just roll out with their hands and they keep their hips back. What you wanna do is make sure you bring your hips with you. Bring your hips, and as soon as you feel that tummy tighten up like a sneeze, you come back. If you go too far, your lower back's gonna arc too much. So make sure you go out just enough to where you start to feel that squeeze, that tummy tight squeeze, and then come right back. You know where you went, hit that same spot every time. Makes these harder, don't go all the way back up. <laughs> Keep the tension on the core. for beginners is doing one movement each. So doing one push, doing one pull, doing one squat, one deadlift, doing one core rotational work, and then a little bit of cardio. Me and Dave, we started the workout with a little warm up, and then we did one of each till failure, and then we ended with a little cardio. He did some jump rope, and I did some skier. So try to get something in. Today, beginners, do that full body workout three times a week, and I promise you, you're gonna feel better, you're gonna start living better, and you're gonna start feeling a lot happier. So try that out, I'll see you guys next video.